Aha! We had an issue with the camera. But now, we're here. Or I'm here. I don't know where RJ is. RJ, get over here. Come on. Do not grieve for the joy of the Lord. Now I got moves. Get over here. What is the first? Nimaha, Nimame, Nemehema. Nemahaya? Nemahaya? I don't know how to say it. N E H E M I A H. Nemahaya? 8 10. Just so you know. Mm -hmm. Do not grieve, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Try it. Okay. Do not grieve, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. N E H E M I A H. 8 10. Right. And first, we have to say we're sorry, no podcast last week. It was kind of just rough. Things didn't go well. So we've got our pizza. Where's your pizza? Over there. Yeah. I got a drink. Oh, you know. I'm fast fooding it today. Sorry. So, in the barn stalls. No welcome. Who are you? Who am I? Oh. Hello, with the Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. I'm over here. <laughs> and of course, grab your snack, grab your drink, plus just do this thing. And like we said, sorry oh, for you left water. no. It's sailing solution. No, I gotta boil it today, so I'm letting it soak. Anyway, mm. all right, moving on. I put mom's contacts on. <laughs> okay, you have the R for the right side, upside down. Uh, your other right. I was teasing you. No, you weren't. This is my right side. Okay. But the white one says R for right. Oh, I thought the blue. But you have it upside down. Because when you look at it... Now I'm confusing him. <laughs> Alright, come on. In the barn stalls. It's been kind of a rough week. Yep. We lost one of the cutie twins. Yep. And who's I was? Uh, sweetie. What did we find out about Sweetie? Sweetie was old. A lot older than what we were told. Mm -hmm. Just by like a few years. But it makes a difference in an animal's life. Because we had her... How many years? Eight? Eight. And we were told she was two, but the vet was thinking she was more like four or five when we got her. Because, Ooh. even so. You should have gave Sweetie some anti-wrinkle cream. Son. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so she had problems with her birthing this time. Mm. The babies were pulled. We got the babies healthy. Got them back with her. And tell what happened. Because we're really not sure other than old age. She just went down. We went out. We milked. We did everything. Her milk production was down a little bit. But... The babies have been known to suck through the fence and blah, blah, blah. So we weren't really, weren't really worried about it. Do not take that band off of there. You're messing with my stuff, aren't you? Don't lose it. Okay. All right. I'll stick it right there. Okay. Um, so her milk production was down, but it's not enough. I mean, a little bit, but we just thought the babies were. Do not sucking her at night um, when we tried to. Do not pick at my shirt. If you tear my shirt, I'm going to beat you. Pick at your own stuff here. So anyway, um, I milked her that morning, right? Yep. Then she was out and about and did everything just fine. She was back with her babies, um, Leo and Lois. And uh, at what, four? When you unsaddled horses, she was fine. Yep. Up around. When you went out to feed, what was wrong? She was down. Just sitting down. Just laid down and never got back up. He picked her up and carried her in the barn. Called mm -hmm. me. I went out there. No visible signs of anything. And within what? 24 hours to 48 hours she'd passed? Right at 36. Okay. Hey, I don't know. Look at this. I can pick up the skin on my finger. Wow, look at this. Wow. Um. <laughs> Anyway, so, she was older than we thought, um, which really kind of scares me because Holly is older than her by a couple of years. Mm -hmm. 
So, um, yeah. But, what else happened because of that? Where's Leo? He went to be to his new home. We already had a lady contact us about, um, she needed a, a male for breeding. Um, she's a friend of mine. She knows that our stock are not overwhelmed by the genes of here, of this area, correct? Talk about it, please. Stop messing with that. I'm, I'm taking the dirt out of my cut, a little piece at a time. Go wash it. Don't you dare. Okay, so what happened? This is what she's freaking out of the loops, folks. Mm -hmm. This little thing in the bother. Mm -hmm. So, it's gone. Uh, Leo went to his new home. His yep. He's still on the bottle. He's being supplemented because for days after we lost Sweetie, what did we do? We let them nurse. Layton. Uh, yeah. And Layton is making a lot of milk, but not enough for triplets. And this is her first. She's a first year fresher, so she's not making a lot. Not enough for triplets, and we're not taking any from her, okay? But we have grafted on the little girl, mm -hmm. right? Yep. So every morning I go out and get late and put her on the stand and then put the baby girl up underneath her. Um, the big one just needed more. He was munching feed and stuff, but not enough to stay alive. So when Cheryl said she was looking for one for her herd, she's got some six-month-old does that she kept. And she put him in with them. And what is her problem? If it's right in. No, what's her problem? Why didn't she have a buck this year? Oh, hers was too big and he was hurting the girls. She normally runs a boar goat on meat sheep on her uh, goats. Goats. milk goats. Because you can sell them in this area for a premium price. She has a better price. Well, when she found out that ours were all white little bit smaller shouldn't affect the look of her goat and it might do as a bora it'll look like a bora and people won't care it'll look like a meat sheep or a meat goat yep she'll get the premium price but she needed a smaller framed buck and leo fit that bill didn't he uh -huh. so he about yay big right now mm-hmm fit the shoe box no we won't she came with a dog kennel and got him put him in the back seat with some towels just stuff in a shoebox. Take him home. She's having fun supplementing him. She didn't have any babies this year because she couldn't find the right brain, uh, Billy. So she's playing with Leo, and he's spoiled. She says every time he, she walks out there to check him, he's right at her feet. <laughs> so it's a good thing, right? Yep. Um, this morning, the little girl, for the first time, Lois, she uh, actually got her belly full, like walked away. I had the bottle, she left half of it, and then I had Leighton up there, which Leighton produced enough for her. So we're hoping that her and Superman will be easy for Leighton to raise. Alright, what else is going on? Let's see here. You've been riding Caballo? Yep, I got three rides on Caballo. How do you, how's he doing? He's doing good. He'd do better if there wasn't so much space in between them, correct? Probably. But you got him to go, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. He yep. does more than just a pony ride now. Yep. He doesn't understand what RJ wants all the time, but he's getting there, correct? Yep. And then I put some more rides on Star. Mm -hmm. How's she doing? Good. I rode her out in the arena yesterday, day before yesterday. Yep. So she's doing really good. Mm hmm. Um, let's see what else. You went last weekend. He wasn't here at all, he was gone. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, came home Monday morning at like what, two in the morning? One. One in the morning. Anyway, so Early that's night. why there was no podcast. I had all this to do and, and it was just a long weekend, right? Yep. So, and we tried to do it like Monday or Tuesday, but we we're so tired that, <laughs> but now what did you do? Where were you? Who were you working with on the weekend? Uh, when you just weren't out running around roping, were you? Uh, yes and no. I went to four opens, five opens. Okay, but you had someone with you. Who was yeah. it? Yeah, uh, Carson. Carson. Uh, Precious. Yep. Yep. So he jumped Precious in the trailer, and this young man is kind of 
him and RJ made it to the final round, right? How, yep. Carson's like 17. He got to the final round for like the second time his entire life. The first time was on Precious, the like the weekend right after he got her. Mm -hmm. Second weekend right after he got her. I don't know. I don't know if I've ever made short round. I think. No, yeah. but he made the short round. Yeah, you're right. He did. He he made the short round, but not with RJ. He had a run with RJ. Yep. But then he gets to the short round, and what happens? No, he didn't do any good. He gets nerve. Carson gets nervous, and the only way to get him over that is just get him to the short round more. Yep. So, but the only time he's ever made the short round is since getting precious and having a good horse under him. So, yep, you were running around getting him where. Uh, worked another horse for him, right? Yeah. Uh, just, it took some time to, when we adopt out a horse, we don't just say, here's the horse, you're gone. Um, we got a video, what, last night of mm -hmm. Storm. She's doing awesome. They send us updates all the time. We want to know that they're doing okay. We don't just mass produce and throw them out in the world. Um, so, yeah, we take the time to make relationships with the people that have the horses that we put out correct mm -hmm. so it's a good thing it's what we do anything else not been a very good lambing year no. um the weather has been back and forth and we've lost some just curl up go to sleep because it gets cold at night it's 70 or 80 in the it was like 76 the other day about quarter to my truck and then right at freezing that night and I'm like what so yeah yep. I can't load them all up and put them in the barn they're in the barn when they're weak they're in the barn when they're first born I don't know it's just one of those things huh son been a tough year it has been a really tough year so. you know but last year we had an amazing year yep only lost one yep only last one, so. Yeah. It, I mean, it, it's anything. agriculture. It goes and it comes, and it comes in waves, and. Mm -hmm. You have great years, you have bad years, you have okay years. So, this is not a great year. It's, we're dealing with it, but it's not really an okay year either. I'm not liking it. All right, moving on. Mending fences. Did you clean the barn like you're supposed to? No, not really. Pick Did you up. fix the gates like I asked you to? Did you move picnic tables in the compost thing? Nope. And the other. I even loaded a pallet on the back of his truck and it's still sitting out there on there. I haven't started it in days. Hmm. But we started having visitors, so we need to get it out of the way. Yeah. Well, it's on the truck, so like so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the other three aren't. No. But the other three are heavy. No, they're not. The pallets. I, I can't lift them with my pinky, so that's heavy. I mean, and then the other, the picnic table, you're gonna have to hook on, and get the flatbed, and get it. You're gonna get it done tomorrow, right? Sure. Get so. it into it. Yep, I got some seeds that I'm gonna plant today. Anyway, that's not even the right. We're not even mending fences. What else? Mm, let's see what all we broke. I'm getting ready to get on the gates because they're not. They're just they sag over time and they get loose. The hinges get loose, so. I think when I rehung that one when I knocked it off, I didn't hang it right. Mm-hmm. Because them holes didn't line back up. Anyway. Just saying. Yeah, I'm going to redo the gate. Because somebody mm -hmm. else won't. All right. Mm -hmm. What's after mending fences? In the barn stalls. No, you aren't. The barn stalls is already over with. Oh, okay. Um, in the yard farm. In yep, the yard farm. Zilch. Nothing. Um, no, well, we've had visitors coming, and I'm going to start classes. I'm not going to do it until after school lets out. And I think we're going to do, like we did that, we're not going to call it a reading program, we're going to call it a, a workshop. But we're going to discuss kids and adults, and just introduce them into an animal for the first 15 minutes that we're open. That's all we're going to do. So if I'm doing goats, people can come and see me milk um, and learn to milk. If we're doing chickens and poultry, they'll learn all about them. We'll have a craft for the kids that day. And we're just going to have, we're going to label like each Saturday will be cow Saturday, horse Saturday, 
whatever. Um, we're going to set a day for the fireflies and stargazing. Right? Yep. Okay. Anything else? There was a thing. Don't start that. All right. In the fields, I got seeds. I'm going to go plant. I got. Oh, where's that bag so I can tell him what I got? He's going to keep talking to you while I go get my thing. There was that one thing. Keep talking. Hi, folks. How are you? I'm doing great. I could use a nap. Yep. I could really use a nap. But I'm not going to get a nap. Not yet. I don't think so. I'm not sure. Boy. I wonder what's in this. Ugh. This stinks. Ugh. That's terrible. We should add a little of this to it make it a little no, better. No, we should not. Just dump a little in here. Pow, pow. Tastes way better. Okay. So, get up. I'll just, we'll just trade places. Alright. So, I just went real quick and... Oh, I'm arching. No, you're over here now. Oh, over here now. Oh, I am over here now. See, it worked. <laughs> it worked. Okay, that was unplanned and pretty cool. All right, so we got some watermelon. Read the, see right here where it says watermelon, tell what it is underneath it. Sugar baby. Yeah, so they're going to be like small, not a whole lot of seeds. Thing. And then I just got lettuce. What kind? Grand Rapids. Yeah. Does that mean it only just, grows in Grand Rapids? No, it's just a leaf lettuce. Then I got some beans, just regular old green beans. Kentucky Wonder pole type green beans. Yeah, and then I got peppers, but they're not hot peppers. What kind are they? All peppers are hot, okay. No, they're not. Just say they are. No. I ate a bell pepper one time, and that was hot. No one a bell pepper. <laughs> I lied to you. <laughs> You're an evil person. <laughs> He's never eaten a hot bell pepper, I promise. You, what, what was that thing I ate? You said, it's just a bell pepper. Eat it. I ate it, and it was hot. What was that? The one in the red tail? Yes. <laughs> and people wonder why. I don't it eat food. It was a jalapeno. And people wonder why okay. I'm a picky eater. <laughs> okay, so what color are they? What are these? Come on. Grand Bell mix. <laughs> you made me eat a jalapeno. Tell me it was just, it's a, just a little chunk. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's just a bell pepper. Don't worry about it. <laughs> no, bell peppers are all sweet. <laughs> if they're hot, they're not a bell pepper. <laughs> okay, and of course, my favorite, zucchini. What kind we got there? I'm done now. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> okay, talk to them. They're waiting to hear from you. I'm mad at her, okay, folks? <laughs> so I'm not talking to her. She can read her own seeds. I'm not going to do it. I'll talk to you guys all day long, but I'm not reading or talking to her. Dark, dark I'm green still mad zucchini. about that parrot bird. <laughs> Even though that was possible like two months ago. But I'm still <laughs> mad about this. <laughs> and I remember these things. <laughs> I hold tomatoes. grudges. And these are beef steak. Tomatoes, and we have the grow tower in place. I just didn't have any seeds, so like, um, I'm gonna split these. We're gonna have um, zucchinis. I'm holding a grudge. Not here. zucchinis. Uh, peppers, and tomatoes coming out of it. Probably some of the leaf lettuce, and I'm also gonna put some in the garden. So, quit. Don't. <laughs> He's gonna spit in my cappuccino. The thought crossed my <laughs> mind, but then I thought that wouldn't be enough. <laughs> I'd have to do something Anyway, else. um, the pole-type beans, the reason I got pole-type is so that they can use that trellis. And same thing with the watermelon vines. I'm going to put them up the trellis, I hope. I don't know if it'll be able to support the sugar baby. I don't know how big they really get, so we'll see. We'll put some there and some in the ground. Mm -hmm. All right. So, you're cleaning with my... That's what you get for telling me. That was a bell pepper. pepper. <laughs> you're an evil mother. Stone cold evil. <laughs> That's not even fair. It's funny. You gotta admit, guys, it's hilarious. I, we had I had cooked something with Rotel in it. Was you it said it was a bell pepper. <laughs> I think it was chili. And I said, here we can get these. Oh, it was the Rotel tomatoes. 
I used the diced tomatoes from Rattel that have the spices in them and stuff. Just because it was simple, we were making chili. And I asked, what's this one? Because I didn't know what it was. Never and he's like, oh, I, I don't want to eat these. It's hot peppers. I'm like, oh, and that's not hot peppers. I said, that's the Rotel stuff. I said, it just has bell peppers in it. <laughs> so what do I do? I just eat it and go on. Just eat it. It's like, man, that was hot. That's what I kept telling him. I was like, are you sure? I said, no, nah, bell peppers aren't hot. I said, it's probably another spice from... <laughs> I'm not talking to you no more. Read your own labels next time. Well, <laughs> do I look like a label reader? <laughs> That's why I can get away with doing what I do. So, anyway. <laughs> I'm going to shoot you. <laughs> okay, so, where are we at? That was in the field. The farmhouse. Anything else going on in the farmhouse? You're a lion sack of dog bones. Where's your... You forgot your buddy. He was waiting, too. He's getting big. What happened with him and the chickens? And oh, see. So you better go get him. Fine. Be right back. You better tell what happened. You tried to put him out there. I tried to put him out with the chickens because he's getting bigger than the chickens. But, you see, we had this problem. Just a teeny weeny little problem. The chickens picked on him. And I don't mean just a little bit. They picked on him. A lot. And a lot to this one, right? I can't believe my mother's that evil. She lied about that pepper. I, I can't believe it. Actually, I can believe that. She's kind of evil that way. I will get her back. Mark my words. But. Are you even talking to him? Yes, I was telling them my revenge to get you back from me eating the pepper. Hope you like Mountain Dew flavored cappuccino. You have to turn around. Okay, turn around. <laughs> He's not turning around. Quit poking. That's what's making him mad. He's just laying down. Make it out. Come on, get out. Look how big he is. He's a big boy. But they would get onto his head and like, oh, he's going to shut us off again. <laughs> so you don't even have to angle him down so much. Here, RJ, take it to We're right here. We're right here. I'm right here. Okay. 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 Oh. Oh. Mama's right goose. Not spoiled, not one little bit. But the chickens would get on his little fluff right here and they would hold on to it and like hurt him. I was afraid they were gonna get his eye. Here, take a piece. Come on. I'm gonna put him in your pocket. He doesn't fit in your pocket anymore, does he? No. But uh, so we found him a little bit bigger tub, but mm -hmm. not spoiled at all. He wants in your shirt, doesn't he? You're not getting any idea. <laughs> He's too big to run around in there now. Mm -hmm. And this has just been like two weeks worth of growth. Um, we didn't do it last week, but and this is him this week. He's like, mm -hmm. what? I know. Mm -hmm. He's eating more too, huh? Well, yeah, I think he's growing. But big. we tried. We tried to put him out in the chicken coop, and mm -hmm. he got beat up. Mom's big baby. Yes. I know. He's huge. RJ, hold him up there and show him how big. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, what is the matter with you? That is a wing. Let go of his wing. I didn't have a wing. There you wing. go. Okay. 
Now you don't have wings. He's just <laughs> mad now. He's like, you got my wings. What? Show him his feet. His feet are what I like. Hey. You like footies? <laughs> well, because I do it all the time. I like. He's got little claws. He does. All right, put him on his little thing. There you go. Okay. He's yes. grumpy. I know. Oh, he wants in. He's going to close it up. You're not in it. You have to be in it to close it up. Look. <laughs> Let him in. All right. Anyway, so there's Sam, the goose. And we don't, we still don't know if he's a boy or a girl. Can you put him in? Isn't he cute? <laughs> So what are we on now? Um, just in the farmhouse, just general stuff that went on around here. You were gone. You um, tricked me by that. Pepper. Apparently the jelly was. Uh, anything else going on? <laughs> 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 RJ caught him in his lap. I swear. They can see like ever. <laughs> God. Don't you dare let him fall. Just walk right down the leg, Sam. Just right down there. You mean no. The Moose is down there. He's almost bigger than Moose now. Yeah, but Moose still doesn't really like him. <laughs> See, Moose is watching. Okay, 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 okay. Right. He's getting feisty. Okay. All right. All right. All right. He's getting feisty. What? He just... <laughs> what did he do? Pinched! Um, what did he do when I tried to introduce him to water? Have you told him that? He, he's not a water Goose fowl. Goose are water fowl. We all know this. So are ducks. But what happened when Sam... He didn't like water. No. Okay, there you go. He's playing with his little bed thing. Now his foot. Mm. But see, he's got little marks down his neck, too. I felt so bad. Now he's playing with the keys. Hey, 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 hey. He's going to push a button. Anyway, so. <laughs> he's ornery. So, let's see. What else? That's about it. So I think that's it. Things. Just um, been having uh, lambing issues and. Visitors are still coming, so mm -hmm. right. Yep. It's... I ripped my pants. Yeah, I see that. I ripped my pants. Oh, everybody sees that now, huh? I know that's my point. <laughs> I ripped my pants this morning. Yep. Doing what? Rubbing. Yep. So. I've got one on my backside for the most to see that one too. No. <laughs> we don't. He's getting ready to clean up and get go rodeo. So. <laughs> He's got his goose. He's got his thing. Anything else, dude? Because we're just dragging. So, all right. We're off of here. I will talk to y'all later. Thank you, son. Are you done now? No, I am. That got even for the uh, jalapeno, right? Nope. Not even close. That's just the icing on the cake. You're about to get me good stuff. <laughs> no, he loves me. He won't do anything to me because I wouldn't cook for you. I brought you pizza home. I'm not sure I want your cooking at this point. But gonna... I brought you pizza home. I'm not sure I want your cooking if it's going to have jalapenos in it. You wouldn't have known if you hadn't eaten just that one little square. <laughs> Sam, that's attached, man. You can't just... He wants attention. I mean, he's like got a hope. Yeah. Sam. Sam. Okay, okay, okay. Love on him. That hand has to be moving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, we're off of here. We will see you all next week, and hopefully we won't miss. It's the first time we've missed in forever, so we will talk at y'all later. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Bye.